self-assessment deadlines. When do you need to submit your self-assessment tax return to HMRC? And when do you need to pay your tax liabilities? Great question. There's some conflict information out there right now. So why don't you check out this video as Louise and I will go through those answers. Uh, what's your views on tax returns with the, not the deadline extension? Ah. But why don't you share your tax thoughts? Returns, partnership tax returns and trust returns. Ah, oh, so it's we are but just, what, 10 or so days away, really, from the end of um, what should be the usual deadline for both filing a tax return, if you're a personal tax return filer, and paying your taxes or whatever's left to pay at this point in the year if you've already made payments on account earlier. Um, so the world is a little mad. Uh, HMRC systems look like, so far, they're holding up. So they haven't fallen over. They aren't causing mayhem in terms of payments that you're trying to make or perhaps filings. Not that I've heard anyway. Um, all is good and all is progressing. But HMRC do often say the last seven days, which really will commence on Monday next week, can be quite a tricky seven days with the technology simply because so many people attempt to A, file their returns and B, pay their tax in that period. And of course, HMRC systems get a little bit flaky, understandable from the sheer volume and weight of things happening during that period. Uh, think of trying to book your COVID booster with everybody else when the Omicron variant first landed is probably the best analogy I can come up with at this point. But so far, so good. And if you've already done it, well done you. Well done for getting it all done and sorted. Um, just a word to the wise, if you haven't yet filed because, hey, HMRC have said we can file in February, it's okay. Yes, they have, but that hasn't changed the filing deadline or rather payment deadline for your personal taxes. They're still due by the 31st of Jan. And of course, in order to know what you've got to pay, you've probably got to do your tax return to work out what you've got to pay. So you might as well get them filed and that's a really good place to be. Um, filing after the end of January, obviously you won't pick up the late filing penalty as long as you file before the end of Feb. But paying late, you'll start picking up late payment interest every single day from and including the 1st of Feb. So do get those payments done yeah. if you can.